Hello, today we're playing Shaq Fu on the uh, Genesis. I did not know that it was made by by EA. I did watch the demo, but I I must have not seen the uh, like the load up or like the pre uh, title screen stuff. Um, okay, let's uh, hit duel. I guess I guess that's just uh, like single um, single fight or whatever. Um, oh man, check out these animations. These animations are actually pretty cool. Uh, let's be, uh, well, I mean, I, I know it's boring, but, uh, let's be Shaq for this, uh, first one. Uh, oh, you just have to hit start twice to start, I, I guess. Okay. I thought you were gonna pick your, uh, opponent. But, uh, I have played this game before, uh, one time for, like, a half hour. Like five or so years ago. I don't know, something like that. It's been a long time, but but I was like well into my 30s. So somewhere around five years, I don't know. But to, obviously I didn't play it enough to get like good at it, but I played it enough to like, I tried like all the characters. Like I, like I, uh, I spent like a little bit of time with it just to see what it was all about. I wanted to see if it was really as bad as everyone says. And you know, I gotta say, I was watching the uh, the demo thing, and it actually didn't look that bad. But playing it feels like super terrible. Like the controls are, I don't know, they're like not good. Is the only thing bad about this game the controls being like terrible? And we're dead. Oh man, but I almost won. Actually wasn't paying attention. Like, what is it about this game that that is, uh, that is, like, super bad? Other than it feeling like garbage. Uh, control-wise. Like, I'm so, like, terrible at fighting games, I can't even tell, like, if a fighting game is, like, good or not. In any game where I can do this, sort of automatically gains, like, some brownie points. Any game where... Or like button mashing works for a while. I wonder if they allow button mashing so that people with no skill can actually like make a little bit of progress into the game. Okay, so when you do it, you do like lose a little bit of distance or you gain a little bit of distance every time you do it. So you can't do it too much. I'm pretty sure that when you have them in the corner, you back up like a tiny bit. So you can't uh, just you can't just uh, spam the low kick indefinitely. See how you back up a little bit. This chick actually looked pretty hot in the uh, thing. She had some nice knockers. But uh, I remember not liking this game that much when I played it. But like I said, when I was watching the demo, I was like, it looks looks good enough. But I think the controls, well, I think there's so much like animation that like from the time you press the button to the time that your character like does the animation for their movement thing or for whatever action you do, it makes it seem like there's like a huge delay from the time you press the button to when he actually like does it, you know? Like the controls just like don't feel like, uh, like crisp. Okay, now we're fighting this like little like kid, I guess. I'm also not 100% sure that I played this on the Genesis, but I'm like, I'm like reasonably sure, but not 100% sure. That's why we're playing the Genesis version. I don't know. I kind of just wanted to play the uh, version that, that I had played before. And I was, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like fairly certain. This game has good Genesis music. I don't know, I talked about this before, but uh, like Genesis music just uh, just like hits like different. I don't know because of like the the sound chip, like the kind of music that you can make with the Genesis sound chip. Like it just has that like Genesis like that sound that like Genesis like sound to it that I like a lot. So this game definitely has that going for it. So the music's actually pretty good.
Oh, wow. So you just get, like, stuck behind the thing? You just, like, can't move? There has to be some way to get out of it, right? Yeah, I just, I, I just couldn't move, like, at all. I guess just don't get hit by it. Oh, there's, like, two different kinds of things. I was about to say, I got hit by one, it didn't do anything. Or it didn't do the... The, uh, the lock move, or the thing where you can't move. Wow, I died already? I didn't even hit him. Oh man, well that one sucked. Uh, can I be a different guy? I wanna be a different guy. Well, you just, you can't move like at all. I can't even like back away from it. So I guess the thing that you're supposed to do is just like not get hit by it. It's so like slow moving, but it's like, well, if you're up close to him, then you can just hit your point blank with it whenever he wants. Maybe that's the kind of thing that makes the fighting game bad. Maybe that's what uh, people were talking about when they said the game was bad. I don't know. I feel like the controls being bad in a fighting game brings it down like a lot more than with like other genres. Like I play games that don't have very good controls, but it, like, like as long as like the game is fun, you kind of get used to it to a point to where it doesn't bring the game down like that much. But, like the controls, like being good in a fighting game, are like way more important than uh, than even like an action platformer. I mean, it's important in those ones too. But there have been plenty of games that don't have good controls, but I still like the game, you know. But I couldn't imagine liking a fighting game that has like terrible controls. Then again, I did like Balls 3D. I don't know, I felt like the control was, like, fine for that game. It's definitely better than this one. But I bet that people that, um... People that like fighting games probably thought that the controls in Balls 3D was, like, super bad. I don't know, it's like, well, you, when you press left, you, you went left. When you press right, you went right. Like, everything... Everything did whatever you pressed, you know? Like, all your motions in this game feel, like, super slow. So, like, this is so bad that even, like, a normie would, uh, would, like, not like it because of the controls. Whereas, like, with Ballas 3D, I bet you people didn't like it because of the controls, but it's like, well, I'm a normie, but they seem fine to me. But that's just because I'm so, like, unrefined. I'm such a normie that, like, I couldn't... Oh, wow, it actually worked. Oh, I was about to say, why was he blinking, like, in a beat-em-up? But I was like so I'm like so like not good at fighting games that like the controls like being bad from like a fighting game perspective or standpoint or whatever. It didn't even like register. Like I'm not even like good enough to like notice that the controls are like bad. It's like, well as long as the dude does what I like what buttons I like input, that's good enough for me, but But like with fighting games, like people are talking like like frames are like important. But like a casual player would like wouldn't notice or pay that much attention to it but as you get better then uh that kind of thing becomes like more and more like important and i'm dead again all right cool okay so if i press down and left button he does this like shield thing I should have been using it against the, uh, the kid guy. I wonder if he can, like, absorb it. looks like an energy absorption thingy, but it could just be, like, a thing that reduces damage. It's like, well, can you just do that with a normal block? That's what makes me think that it might actually be something where you can absorb, like, like, energy blasts or whatever. Also, we have a uh, second bar. It appears to be like a rage bar. The dude's uh, rage thing got like filled up. That's why he's blinking. I don't know how to make it go up. Mine's all the way empty, even though I've landed a bunch of hits on this guy. Maybe it goes up when you block? Because I have not been blocking at all. All right, I actually won two out of three, I think, right? I'm actually like beating some guys. 
Oh my god, he called him a bra. B-R-A. Doesn't it have to have an H on it so that it differentiates it from the word bra? Oh man, we got Aladdin. This guy's cool. Like flinging the, uh, like twirling the swords around and stuff. That's kind of cool. He's got like the backflip, uh, like back dodge thing. I mean, that's kind of a cool character. I wonder if I have any, like, special moves besides the, uh... Oh, it still didn't work. Maybe that was, like, a shockwave. Not, not an energy blast. Maybe it's, like, different. I don't know, does Shaq have, like, a fireball or something he can shoot? Does he have, like, anything that, like, makes him cool? Let me try some, like, quarter circle things. I haven't tried, it, tried any special moves other than accidentally learning about the... The thing that appears to be a shield, but also appears to do nothing. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, well, quarter circles did not do anything. What about half circles? I did a throw thingy. Wait, how am I ever gonna get him, to get him in a position to do it? I guess I did it twice, I think, right? Man. Maybe this guy's hard because I've defeated a bunch of guys. So the AI probably gets like better and better. But this guy can just like hit me like at will. Like I can't freaking hit him. And then he just like he just like moves to not get hit and then like hits me. Maybe he just gotta like stay on his nuts. Yeah, you have, like, no control over your jump. Once you jump at an angle, you're, like, locked into that. You can't, like, pull your jump back or adjust it. So if you're too close and you jump over him, now you're too far on the other side of him. All right, staying on the nuts actually worked. All right, cool. Oh, and I just gotta do that again. Okay, no problem. Did he, did he like teleport or something? Okay, so this guy has a lot of ranged things, but he also has that like hurricane kick. Also, so he's like. He's got a he's got a good up close move and ranged moves also. Oh my god, I got him. Oh man. All right, all right. Okay, well I stayed on his balls and I freaking won, man. He disobeyed the first rule, protect your balls at all times. Oh man, hey, what's up, cutie? Oh, man, we got straight up cat girl. Oh, look at that, she's sexy. Oh, she's got the the uh, the smoke move, the move that uh, smoke can use in Mortal Kombat. That like dick move. Did they ever balance that? I played one of the Mortal Kombat's on like what was it, 360 or something like that? And there was this character. I'm not 100% sure it was Smoke. It might have been Smoke. Where they could just, like, do that at any... At, like, any point. Like, the input was, like, stupidly easy. And I think it was, like, not, like, balanced, like, properly. Like, I like I couldn't figure out any way to, like... To, like, avoid it. Or to, like, uh, to, like, handle it. There was, like, nothing I... Like, it would, it would just, like, hit me, like, all the time. I couldn't figure out any way to... To, like, not get hit by it, like, 99% of the time.
No, I just realized when you hit the left button, uh, if you pre if you hold down and press it, you do the shield thing. But when you're standing, you don't do it. You don't do anything. So bottom button is kick. And then right button is like a higher kick. Is that a faster kick? I don't know. They're both kind of slow. Maybe this is designed to be played on uh, like a six button controller. Oh. L and R are your punches. I, I tried hitting L, B, and R, B. But it's LT and RT are your punches. Oh man, well that sucked. What about top button? Top button is taunt. So I think I just don't have an, another button set to the uh, the third uh, punch and the third kick button. Oh wait, well if you have a designated uh, this button, this button has to, maybe you only have two punches and two kicks instead of uh, three. Since one of your buttons is the shield thing that doesn't work or do anything. Oh man, game over. That's a bummer. Well, I kind of wanted to try some other characters. But it won't let you switch. I had to get it all the way game over. And we're already like, I feel like we've already played this enough. That uh, I think we're good to call it. Oh, now it tells you? Uh, forward, back, forward, A. We got like a wind move. It's called a Shack Rukin. It's kind of funny, actually. But uh, yeah, I mean, if the game is not going to let you uh, play other characters. I mean, it was supposed to just be a duel. I thought a duel meant like single fight. And then uh, you could switch and then do another single fight. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're good to call this game, even though I only got to play the one guy. Man, look at those bazankas. Um, but anyway, so it's, it's like, yeah, well, I kind of wanted to show some other characters. But it's like, well, I guess... Uh, like the video's over and I only showed the one, so I guess, so I guess I only get to show the one this time. But uh, yeah, like I said, well, I mean, like I wanted to show other characters, but it's like, well, if it locked me into one guy and I had to play it till I got all the way game over, and it's like, well, now the video's over, so I guess, um, I guess I'm not gonna get to show the other people. Like I don't know, I kind of don't want to keep playing this just to show the other characters. I don't, I don't think that that's like worth it. Um, but uh, I mean, there's other footage of this, so if you want to see the other characters, you can go watch other people's videos. It's fine. Um, but anyway, that's going to uh, do it for this one. Uh, please put your thoughts in the comments. Also, drop a like. I appreciate it. And also, subscribe if you are not already subscribed, because I super mega ultra appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.